Meghan Markle issued warning over deceiving strategy which could backfire. Meghan Markle seems to be making a wrong move in a bid to relaunch her career. Meghan Markle appears to be sending the wrong message to the royal family in a bid to relaunch her career. The Duchess of Sussex has been skipping major royal events following the death of Queen Elizabeth last year, including the historic coronation of King Charles in May. However, per PR expert Edward Coram James, Meghan's move to snub the royals seems like a dig directed at her husband, Prince Harry, and his work. Earlier this month, the former Suits actress arrived to the Invictus Games on the fourth day, citing parental responsibilities as the cause of delay. I would argue that the Duchess of Sussex can choose any of the 365 days of the year to focus on parenting. James critiqued the speech Meghan made after arriving at Invictus to Daily Express U.S. She's extremely busy and is constantly attending ceremonies, events and work commitments that require her to step away from family life for a short period of time, he continued. I would argue that two of the most important days in Harry's last year have been the coronation of his father and the opening of his professional baby Invictus, and Meghan has missed both to focus on parenting. James argued that Meghan chose to take time out for seemingly less personally significant events this year, sending a wrong message far from reality. If Meghan is to dispel rumors of a personal rift with her husband, she should be seen attending the events that are important to him, James warned. Just because the optics may not reflect the reality doesn't mean that they should not have paid more attention to the optics. Despite the optics being deceiving, James was of the view that snubbing Prince Harry could have Meghan struggling even more to emerge as a public figure in the long run. Princess Eugenie's first visit after her maternity leave appeared similar to that of Meghan Markle. Princess Eugenie appeared to give a nod to her sister-in-law Meghan Markle with her a major act of service this week. Along with her friend, Julia de Boinville, Eugenie co-founded the Anti-Slavery Collective in 2017 and they visited the Bramber Bake House in East Sussex together on Monday, via GB News. Eugenie's first visit after her maternity leave appeared to be reminiscent of Meghan's first royal engagement as the Duchess of Sussex in 2018, when she visited the Grenfell Community Kitchen. The Princess of York, 33, was all smiles as she posed with her team, per the official Instagram handle of the organization that shared glimpses from the visit. The Anti-Slavery Collective is an award-winning charity that supports women who have experienced abuse, exploitation, or displacement with the confidence, skills, and knowledge for a positive future via IG. The Bramber Bakehouse supports female survivors of human trafficking and modern slavery. The program is designed to give women the confidence, knowledge, and skills for a positive future. Meanwhile, Megan talked about working at the Hub Community Kitchen in North Kensington, a year after 72 people died after a fire at the Grenfell Tower in her Netflix docuseries, Harriet Megan. I just love these women so much. It was really important to me because I had become so close to so many of the women who had survived that, even though no one knew that at the time, she said in the documentary. The Grenfell fire left so many families displaced, outside of how many deaths it caused. I remember saying, can we do something? We need to go down there and do something. And so, I connected with the women at Al-Manar, which is a mosque in Grenfell.